There's a powerful Microsoft Excel function that most people have never tried. But once you use it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. It's called the scan function. And today, we're going to take a look at how the scan function will transform how you work with formulas inside of Microsoft Excel. Let's take a look. So we're going to take a look at a couple different examples of working with Excel's scan function. Open in front of you, I've got an example file called scan functions examples hyphen zero one. I've made this file available for you to download so you can open it up and follow along with me. You'll find a link in the video description just right down below. Look for the Office New blog link and you'll find a link there to download this exercise file. Open it up, follow along with me. And while you're down there, if you enjoy the video, you learned something new, make sure you give the video a like. I appreciate that. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week. So let's jump in and take a look at our first example, utilizing scan. Now, the purpose of the scan function is to run a calculation, a custom calculation on each value found within an array or a collection of data. So inside this workbook, I'm looking at the first worksheet, scan intro, and I've got a simple table. It's got a step, a current, and a new value column, and a couple of values inside there. So we're gonna see how the scan will go through this collection of data right here, step by step, first step, second step, and so on. It'll run a custom calculation and give us an output. Now, very important with the scan function, as it goes through and applies a calculation to this data, not only will it calculate something, some custom formula based on the current value, but once it's done and it returns its value, it'll then take that value and carry it into the next step and apply it there as well. So in this case, we're gonna combine each of these values into a complete string of values. We'll start out with Excel, then it's gonna move into step two and we'll say Excel is, and then it's gonna move into step three and say Excel is super, and then step four, Excel is super duper, and so on. Let's take a look. So my first step, I'm inside of cell C2. I'm gonna say equals scan. I'll hit my tab key there, open up the parentheses. First thing it wants to know is the initial value. What are we first working with? Well, in our case, I'm gonna say it's gonna be nothing. It's just gonna be two quotes smashed together. Quote, quote. The initial value is essentially an empty string, no value. Then I'm gonna do a comma. The next thing the scan function needs is the array or the collection of data that's going to apply the calculation to. In our case, our array is gonna be B2 to B6. That's the collection of data that we're gonna apply the scan calculation to. And I'm gonna do a comma. The last thing it wants to know is the calculation or the function that's going to be applied to that array of values. In steps, the lambda function. And I'm gonna open up a parentheses there. Lambda, open parentheses. The lambda function is gonna do the heavy lifting here. It's what's gonna actually allow us to create the custom calculation that will be applied to the array or collection of values in the scan function. Now the lambda function takes a couple of arguments. It needs some values to be passed to it so it can then apply a calculation to those values. Now remember the scan function starts with the initial value. So inside the lambda, we're then gonna make a reference to that initial value or what the lambda function or what the scan function is actually gonna call the accumulating value. So I'm gonna say, I'll just call this AC, okay? Accumulating value. Then I'm gonna do a comma, and I'm gonna pass it another one for the current value. So I'm gonna call this CV. Then I'm gonna do a comma. So we got two, va two values, two parameters being passed to it. The accumulating value as it goes line by line or step by step, and the current value within that array or the current steps value. Now the next part, I'm gonna take AC, the accumulating value or the initial value to start with, and I'm gonna combine that 
with an empty space, just an ampersand, and then two quotes with a space between them. Then I'm going to combine that with the current value. I'm going to close the parentheses for the lambda. I'm going to close the parentheses for the scan. And here's the magic. I'm going to hit my enter key. Take a look at that. So utilizing the scan function, we're taking, we're running a calculation on the array here, step by step. So it's going to say, hey, the first time it runs through, well, there's no initial value, so we just get back Excel. Then the second step, it takes the Excel from previous, and then it runs the calculation down below to combine the previous value with the current value, Excel is. Then again, take Excel is, combine that with the next one, Excel is super. Excel is super duper, Excel is super duper, awesome. This is the scan function. So let's take this a step further. Let's put it in a little more practical real world scenario. I'm gonna jump over to the running total worksheets. All right, so here I got a simple table, some dates, some products, a sales rep, and a sales amount. Now what I wanna do is get a running total, a two date running total. So at each date interval, I wanna get a running total. 220 for the initial one, 220 plus 210 for the next one, 220, 210, 250 for the next one, and so on. So here comes the scan function. So inside of cell E2, I'll say equals scan. The initial value, in this case, I'm gonna say is equal to zero. We're starting out at zero, there's nothing current. And I'm gonna do a comma. Our array that we're gonna apply the calculation to is gonna be D2 down to D31, essentially just the sales amount column. And I'm gonna do a comma. Now we need to apply the calculation, the function. So I'm gonna bring in the lambda function again. And the lambda function, I'm gonna pass it two values again. We're gonna have the accumulating value, which starts out as initial as zero. So I'm just gonna call it AC, comma, and then the current value. Now I'm gonna do a comma, and our calculation is gonna be pretty simple. We're just gonna say AC plus CV. I'll close the lambda, close the scan, I'm gonna hit my enter key, and there's my results. So first step, remember the initial value was zero, so all we got back was 220. The next time it runs, it takes that 220, and then it applies it to the 210, we get our 430. 680, 955, 1195, and so on. So utilizing the scan to go through our sales amount column and apply that calculation to each value, creating our running total. Pretty cool. Now, let's get a little more advanced with it. I'm gonna to jump to the next worksheet, the ledger. All right, so here we've got a date, we got a description, we have a debit, and we have a credit column. What I wanna do is get the current balance. Now, if you look closely, we've also got a starting amount of $1,000. So I wanna go through each of my debits and credits and subtract or add to get my current balance. All right, here comes the scan again. So let's say equals scan. My initial value this time is gonna be D1. That's our starting amount, our initial value, comma. Now the array is gonna be a little bit different. In the previous examples, we grabbed a single column. But here we've got both a debit and a credit. So what I'm gonna do is get the difference between the two I'm gonna grab the credit column. What is that, D4 to D19? And I'm gonna subtract the debit, C4 to C19. So the combination or the, the difference between those two values becomes the array that the lambda function is about to calculate for us. So now I'll do a comma. I'm in the function argument of the scan. So in steps the lambda. And here again, I'm gonna bring in my accumulator value or starting out as the initial value of $1,000, comma, current value, comma. Now here, I'm just gonna say AC plus CV. And I'll close the lambda and I'm gonna close the scan. Hit my enter key. So first step 
it was initial value of 1,000. We had a debit of 45. We get 955. Okay, next step, we got the current balance of 955. We have a credit of 350, so we get 1305. And then next, we've got the initial value of 1305 or the current value. And then we're going to got a debit of 62 minus 62. We got 1243 and so on. All utilizing the scan function to apply a calculation step by step through an array or collection of values. Make sure you try these out. That's it. With a little bit of magic utilizing the Excel scan function, we can get a dynamic calculation to spill out all the values for us. Utilizing scan and the lambda function. Make sure you try this out. You've downloaded the file, you opened it up, follow along with the video and practice these three examples. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Let's me know that you enjoy it and you want more content like this. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to get updates about new videos that we add to this channel each week on Microsoft Excel and other Office applications. I'll see you in the next video.